Let's take a look at the new 1CNC XR9 3-axis flow toolpath. Now, the flow toolpath is going to use an edge or edges to help determine the vector of the toolpath. And this vector is not only in X and Y, but also in Z. So let me demonstrate. Let's head over to the command manager and let's select our model toolpaths. From there, we're going to select the new flow machining toolpath. And the first thing we need to do is select the surface that we'd like to machine. So I'm going to left click. When we're done, I'm going to right click and now 1CNC wants us to select the edges that will determine the vector of toolpath. Now you can select one edge or you can select two edges. In this example, I'm going to select both edges and then right hand mouse click. Now I already have a tool defined. I'm using a 10 millimeter diameter ball end mill. I'm going to say our speeds and feeds look great, so let's click next on that. My clearance values look great, so I'll click next on that. Now notice for path style, you can make the toolpath move away from those edges we selected. That's called away from guide. Or you can make the toolpath move toward the edges or toward the guide. I'm going to use away from guide. We'll click finish and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. Now to better demonstrate the vector of the toolpath, let's backplot the toolpath. I'm going to turn the solid model layer off. Let's change our view to front. And you'll notice now how the toolpath is moving up in Z as it's cutting in X and Y. That's because the toolpath is being directed by those edges. The front view also confirms this. All right, let's take this a step further now. And why don't we preview the toolpath? Let's head over here to the layer browser. And let's turn our solid model back on. Now we'll go up into the NC manager and let's go into preview toolpath. You can see that the toolpath starts on one side and then works its way toward the center. I'm going to speed up the simulation just a little bit. And if you look closely, you've got a nice consistent step over and a beautiful finish. All right, that's it for the brand new 1CNC XR9 Flow toolpath. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.